Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So this is the Kadas Vim 3. So in this video we are gonna take a look at the Kadas Vim 3. Uh, we are gonna take a look at Armion for it. So this is still the most powerful ARM SBC that has got mainline Linux support. So this is the Kadas Vim 4. This has got two more cores than this. This has got two times the GPU power. But it doesn't have got mainline images. I am still waiting for that and it is a long wait for it. Until then, this will be the most powerful ARM SBC with mainline support together with the Android N2 Plus of course. So this one has got the Amlogic A311D. This one has got the Amlogic A311D2. And here we have got the Kadas Vim 2. So this one has got the Amlogic S912. I wasn't very happy with this one when I bought it, but I was very happy with this one because this is very powerful. This just ain't powerful. This has got 8 cores, but uh, all 8 cores are A53. 4 of them are clocked at 1.5 GHz and 4 are clocked to 1 GHz and that's not very much. So in this video we are gonna take a look at Armbian images for the Kadas Vim 3. So there are the vanilla Armbian images, but there are also the images from Monka Bliat. So he now makes images with Redivine and that makes it possible to watch or use DRM content. So that is great! So here we go! So let's first take a quick look at the specs of the Kadas Vim 3. So let's start on the top left and go clockwise. So first we see a USB 3 port, this is shared with the NVMe, more about that later. Then we see a gigabit ethernet port, HDMI, USB type C for power, so PD. Then a USB 2 port, G-spot sensor, PWN fan header, reset button, function button, power button, mounting holes, real time clock header. 40 pin GPIO, GPIO expander, 2 channel infrared, the LEDs, programmable MCU, antenna for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then on the back there is the VIN connector, our SD card reader, current limit switch, then the M.2 slot. So this can do NVMe but it is shared with the USB 3 port. So if this is used, then the USB 3 cannot be used at USB 3, but USB 2 instead. Then TP, then MIPI DSI for display, MIPI CSI for camera, SPI flash, then the X power pads, M register, S register and current limit switch. So this has got the Amlogic A311D. 2 times Cortex A53 at 2 GHz maximum and 4 times A73 at 2.2 GHz. Mine has got 2 GB of RAM, you can also buy it with 4 GB. I would recommend 4 GB. 2 GB has not been enough for me with this board. The EMMC is also 16 GB or 32 GB, mine is 16. So not large enough to use a swap file. I mostly am using a SATA to USB 3 SSD to run this. Then I can use a swap file. Then I can use a lot more memory than only 3 GB. 2 GB for the memory and 1 GB CRAM. So to download the image I open a browser and I go to armbian.com. There I go to downloads and here we see platinum support. Kadas Vim 3. Who's that maintainer? Nico Andy. So I go down. So the best image is the Armbian Jammy Gnome desktop. So that's what I am using. The XFC desktop has a little bug. The background image always disappears after a reboot. So I wrote a Jammy Gnome image to an SD card and I booted. I two times type a password for the roots, I choose bash or zsh, it's all the same. My username nicod, two times a password. My name is nicod, I choose no because I want another language than I have in my country. 
So 47, 7, 6, 1 and we can boot into the desktop. It is from an SD card that I am booting and this is the Achilles heel of this board. The SD reader can only do about 20 megabytes a second and that is awful. So here we finally are in GNOME. I'm so used working on the RK3588 with NVMe. This feels so much more sluggish. So let's open a terminal and show you NeoFetch. So what the RK3588 doesn't have yet is mainline support. So kernel 6.1, this is the LTS kernel. And now let's install Misa Utils. And show you the output of Helix Info. So as you see we have got Panfrost. And that is what the Vim4 does not have and I really want it. The RK3588 does have pan fork, but that's on a very dirty kernel. And now let me show you how I use the GNOME desktop. Or to be more exact, the Ubuntu desktop. Because I do not like the GNOME desktop. There are a few things that are missing in the GNOME desktop. For example you cannot use the GNOME extension manager. And also fractional scaling doesn't work yet on GNOME. I know they have it in the latest version. But not in this one. So after the GNOME Shell Extension Manager and GNOME Shell Extensions, I install the Ubuntu Desktop. I also choose for GDM3 instead of LightDM. I like GDM3 more. And then we reboot. And once we have rebooted, we can see that the Ubuntu Desktop is selected. And here we are. So if we now open the extension manager, then we see that it works. I really need this. I really hate how the default GNOME is set up. I want my applications menu and my places on the top bar. And I also use Freon to see the temperature. But strangely enough here on the Vim3, the system monitor doesn't work. It works on the RK3588. No idea why. So let's add Freon and we are almost ready. So there is one more thing I need to adjust. So I go to the settings, their appearance and there I change the dog settings. I change the icon size to 40 and I put the position on the bottom. So that is how I like my GNOME. Many people say they hate GNOME. I hate it too. But once it is set up I really love it. It is better than XFC4 because it is using Wayland and there is no screen tearing. You do need good GPU drivers to have good experience, but we have them with Panfrost. So let me show you the YouTube playback. So let's browse to YouTube, search for NicoD, and here is my last video about the Mixtile Blade 3, a great board. Blade 3, so this is a Rockchip RK3588 ARM SBC, so this has got a few cool design choices. So this is mainly designed for clusters, but it can also be used for desktop use and for server tasks. So for clusters it has got this, so this is an adapter board that can fit onto here. Alright, I, I have to unscrew these screws to fit it onto there, so I cannot show how it fits. With this you can connect multiple boards to each other, but about the cluster functionality I cannot talk yet. So uh, we will look at that in a later video, but the cluster board is pretty cool. So as you see, it plays very good at 1080p, but it isn't perfect. There are dropped frames, but you don't see it because we are using Wayland's and there is no screen tearing. This is the biggest weakness for Amlogic Socks. I did read a long time ago that they were working on VPU drivers for Amlogic and Mainline, but I never did see a result of it. For that then the RK3399 is a bit better. 
So what doesn't work with this image as I said is DRM content. So here I am at the Belgian television and I cannot watch anything. This is because you need Redivine. So for that we need Monkahis image. That has got everything pre-installed for Redivine. You just have to open Chromium once, then close it and then open it again. And then you can watch DRM content. So for Monka his images we go to monka.systemonachip.net There we define And there we have got the Kadas Vim 3 image This also has got the Nico D Armbin gaming script So here I am in Monka his redefine and gaming image So let's first show you the DRM content So as I said open Chromium one time Close it and then open it again and then DRM content should work. It first has to set up everything for Redivine. So let's go to the Belgian TV and play this. Op dit nummer voor deze dames. Klein verschil, 600ste. And I can watch in 1080p to the Belgian TV. Netflix should also work. Spotify should work. I do not use any of those. So I cannot show you. So next the Nico D Armbian gaming script. So this can install a lot of things. So Box86, Box64, Wine, Wine Tricks, PS1 emulation, Android emulation, PS2 emulation, though PS2 emulation will not work well on the Kadas Vim 3. PS1 works great, PSP also works great. But for PPSSPP you have to have more than 2 GB of memory. So let me show you how I set up a swap file to be able to compile PPSSPP. So I search for my most useful Linux commands, Armbian, and here are my most useful Linux commands. Set it as a favorite, you might need it. So I need to do all these things, and then I have enough memory to do the PPSSPP compilation. All the others should work without it, and if you have the 4GB model, then you don't need it either. So as you see, instead of 1 GB of swap of CRAM, I have got 5.3 GB, that is 4 GB of swap file and 1 GB of CRAM. And then I have got my 2 GB of memory. Like this we can build PPSSPP. So just type nicod armbian gaming If you are using vanilla Armbian, search for Armbian Gaming on GitHub and download the script like that. So compiling PPSSPP does take a while and you also need enough disk space. So if you would do it on a 16 GB EMMC you might not have enough. Once that is done, to start PPSSPP, in capital letters we type PPSSPP SDL. Here I've got my favorite PSP game, Tuka 2. So for the best performance with PPSSPP, I said skip auto buffered effects. I also switch my display resolution to 720p and then I can go full screen and this will run perfect. Some games will work at 1080p, but 720p for a PSP game is more than enough. So now let's go full screen and turn on the FPS counter. Careful son, you won't get away with crashes like that. Just remember, the smart beaker is breaking in a straight line, then turn, then hit the gas. The 
the bar under the street will show us how much cash you're giving you. And here are some benchmark results. So the potato has the same suck as the Kadas Fim 1, so I think that would perform about the same. The Oldroid C2 performs a little bit better. Then the Kadas Fim 2, then the Kadas Fim 3, then the Kadas Fim 4, and then the Mixtile Blade 3, which has got the RK3588, what's comparable with the Kadas H2. I now also have a Mixtile H2. So that's gonna be complicated. The Kadas Fim 3 does overheat when it is maxed out for a while with the stock heatsink and thermal pads. If you would replace the thermal pads with a copper shim, it would be a lot better. These Amlogic socks don't consume that much. I have to say thank you to the Armbian developers Monka and Ricardo, and to Igor for building new images for the Kadas Fim 3. So that's gonna be it for today. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, see you later, bye!